Hey everybody, I think it's about time to do an about video, about podcast, about triumph over tragedy. And I decided to sit down in front of the camera, which quite honestly, I don't really care much for. And uh, talk to you a little bit about triumph over tragedy and the why behind the reason I started it. Um, basically, let's start with this. The, the idea of this is triumph more than the tragedy piece. And let's be honest, all of us have tragedy in our life. Uh, it ranges from the death of a child, which happened to me. She was nearly 18 years old and died in a car crash. Um, I went through divorce. I went through the loss of a, a business that I had um, had for about 20 years and, and was uh, involved with my parents in that business as well. And so, so there's a lot of things that had happened in my life, but the focus is not the tragedy. The focus is the triumph. And what the triumph basically means to me is this, taking a step forward. It might be not even a step. You might need to crawl forward. It might be that you need to look forward, really, quite honestly. It's simply to focus on that triumph. And what I decided to do was based off of a conversation that I had uh, quite frankly, several conversations that I had had with an acquaintance. And what that conversation ended up at the, the kind of the tail end of was uh, we met several times over, I believe it was about two and a half, three months. And he and I just discussed some of the things that he had gone through. And at the end of it, he said, you know, why didn't we sit down and, and record these and kind of um, catalog these, or uh, I can't exactly remember what he said, but the idea for this podcast came off of that conversation is the short version. And that means that he thought that it would benefit other people to hear his story, to hear his triumph, to hear his tragedy, to hear the focus on the triumph more than the focus on the tragedy. And therefore, the podcast started. Started about two months ago, and um, I launched it in early September. And I'm sitting down to you in, um, actually today would technically be the 10th of November. This is a difficult thing for me because I find it difficult to um, facilitate these things because it's emotional for me, because it's a lot of work for me. And quite honestly, I get the question frequently, well, what do you get paid to do these? I don't. And I won't. I will not get paid ever. This is on record here, okay? I will not get paid ever to do Triumph Over Tragedy podcasts. Um, what that means, though, also is it needs to be solvent. Uh, and just to be completely transparent, which is the idea behind the podcast, is I'm going to need to find sponsors. I'm going to need to find some sort of support to make sure that this podcast can continue. And what that looks like is this. I want to facilitate, I want to give a platform to people who should and need to share their story, but not their story that wallows in tragedy, but their triumph, the focus being triumph, the focus being that they have had difficulties, that they have not focused on those difficulties, but they have walked forward. It's not about me. I am simply here to facilitate their story. That is this podcast. Each podcast, other than this uh, about the podcast podcast, will have a guest. I'm not going to sit down and do one-on-one -on -one like this ever again unless there's some sort of reason in particular to do that. And um, I have a hard time looking at the camera. I have a hard time looking at you if you're watching this on YouTube. I don't like to be in front of the camera, as I mentioned earlier. I don't like to be in front of the microphone, as I mentioned earlier. But my belief is many doors were closed and other doors were open so that I could do this. 
so that I would have a story to tell, so that I would have a purpose to help other people walk through and get through their difficulties. Not to wallow in their difficulties, not to sit and be stagnant in those difficulties, but simply to take a step, to crawl forward, to look forward and go in that direction. In fact, uh, part of the transparency is, is maybe you've, if you're watching on YouTube, maybe you notice that my cheeks are a little bit rosy and, and things like that. It's cold here right now, and I was just 30 minutes ago outside for 10 hours in the freezing cold Minnesota just to get things done for winter. I... Uh, have had a lot of things that have happened in my life and we've just needed to clean those things up and it's exciting that in seven years since that has happened since i lost my daughter uh the the arm has been able to swing and um starting to kind of uh, move forward in a positive direction through life and get some of those projects accomplished get some of that tragedy cleaned up so to speak and so today i was outside for 10 hours just cleaning up just um making things better in my world and in my family's world and i enjoy doing those things but they are difficult and that means i have rosy cheeks if you're watching on youtube Anyway, that's kind of, uh, I don't want to ramble on really anymore. That's kind of the gist of what the triumph over tragedy looks like. It is focusing on the triumph. It is simply having a guest. This is not about my story. This is about the guest story. I am here to ask the questions, to facilitate, to give them a platform. I pay out of my pocket to have this on air every week. I pay to have this on air, and I'm happy to do that. Can I continue to do that forever? Probably not. That's the truth. That's the transparency. Um, am I asking you for anything? Yes. Here's what I'm asking. If you think that this is good for people, share it. Please share it. I am asking you right now to do that. Share it. The other thing is, is subscribe. Subscribe to, uh, this is on Spotify, this is on iHeartRadio, this is on Podbean, this is on Apple Podcasts, this is on YouTube. Subscribe to one of them, subscribe to all of them. I don't really care if you, you do one or all, but please subscribe. That actually helps other people see the podcast. That actually helps other people to get connected to triumph that gets people connected to positivity that gets people connected to inspirational people that i have on the podcast please do that the other thing that i would ask you to do is um honestly if you could rate the podcast it's not about me. It's about the guest. It really is. And I hope that you've seen that so far, that it's about the guest that I have on the podcast. It's about their story. If you rate it, again, that helps other people see the podcast. That helps other people see the positivity. I'm going to stop rambling on. I ask you this. Subscribe YouTube. Subscribe Apple Podcast. Subscribe iHeartRadio, subscribe Podbean, subscribe to Spotify, and we're working on getting other areas that this can be seen, heard, and viewed. I kind of said that already. Seen is part of viewed, right? Anyway, and please rate us. Maybe even go as far to go out of your way. And I know that you're very busy, but go out of your way and just leave a comment. Comments are huge for other people to see the podcast as well. I really appreciate it. I truly do because I believe that I was called to help other people through their tragedy. More so to focus on their triumph. Because let's face it, we all have positive things that happen to us in spite of the tragedy we each and every one of us 
have positive things that happen to our lives every day. We have people around us that love us. Whether we think so or not, we do. You know you do. We all have that. Even when we're in the trenches, even when things are, are as bad as they can possibly get, people around us love us. People around us support us. People around us are there for us. Just look. You'll find them. I promise. Hey, thanks for listening to this about. Again, I really appreciate you subscribing. I really appreciate you making a comment, and I really appreciate you rating us. I know that's redundant, but hey, that's it. Matt Logan, Triumph Over Tragedy, signing out on this About Podcast podcast. See you next time. Thank you.